everyone! Today on the show, we're going to be celebrating one of the most important holidays of all time. Laszlo Toth Day. Intro! So, you're probably saying to yourself right now, what's Laszlo Toth Day? I've never heard of that holiday, and it sounds like something that you just completely made up. You crazy person, you. Have you been doing the crack drugs? Well, <laughs> I can assure you, I have not been doing the crack drugs. Or have I? Laszlo Toth Day is an incredible, very special holiday that we celebrate every year on May the 21st. So you may be saying to yourselves, who is Laszlo Toth, and why does he have his own day? Well, that's a very good question, and I'm about to answer it, so just give me one second. Laszlo Toth was a Hungarian-born Australian geologist who went crazy, and on the 21st of May, 1972, at 33 years of age, during the Feast of Pentecost, mmm, delicious, Pentecost, Toth, wielding a geologist's hammer and shouting, I am Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, attacked Michelangelo's pi piat piata piata pi piata pi <sighs> This statue, but but bigger, full size. It's, it's actually really big. It's a big statue. It's not like this statue. This statue is small. Uh, so it's the Michelangelo's piat 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 this thing and it depicts um mary holding jesus um presumably he's napping um they were probably out for a hike and he got sleepy so he fell asleep on her lap um anyway back to the story he attacked michelangelo's statue with 15 blows hmm he removed Mary's arm at the elbow, knocked off a chunk of her nose, and chipped off one of her eyelids. Toth was subdued by bystanders, including American sculptor Bob Cassilli, okay, who hit Toth several times before pulling him away from the pi pia pia damn it, the statue. In view of his parent insanity, Toth was never charged with the crime, and on 29th of January 1973, he was committed to an Italian psychiatric hospital. He was released on the 9th of February 1975 and was immediately deported to Australia, where he had studied prior to the attack. Australian authorities did not detain him. So, every year on the 21st of May, we celebrate Laszlo Toth Day, and we remember his, his wonderful, pointless attack on the statue and how attacky it was. So they were able to repair the statue, and now if you try to go see it, it's behind, like, bulletproof glass or something insane um, to prevent uh, further attacks. Um, which, I mean, I don't know what happens if the bulletproof glass decides to attack it. At that point, you're pretty much screwed. In honor of Laszlo Toth Day, I thought that... Ouch! Perhaps it might be fun to to take some small versions of the statue and smash them into little bits uh, with a hammer uh, for the purposes of smashing them into little bits with a hammer. So one thing that it's fun to do on Laszlo Toth Day when, when smashing statues with a hammer is to yell triumphantly, Bildenstorm! Now what's Bildenstorm? This is, of course, a tradition that I came up with for this holiday. Um, I also came up with the holiday itself, so I can pretty much put in any tradition I freaking want to. What is Bildenstorm, though? Bildenstorm, in Dutch, roughly translates to Statue Storm. Also, the Great Iconoclasm, or Iconoclastic Fury, is a term used for the outbreaks of destruction of religious images that occurred in Europe in the 16th century. Hmm. Now you're starting to see the connections. Mm-hmm. 
Oh boy, it's super exciting! I am here with my sister Nikki, right here, and my girlfriend Deja, and we're here celebrating Laszlo Toth Day. We're having what's called a Toth party. And guess what, guys? You're never gonna, you're never gonna believe this. You're never gonna guess. Can you guess? Are you asking You us? can't guess. Oh, you're talking to us. I made us Laszlo Toth party hats with his face on them. Yes. And we're going, Awesome. <laughs> going to wear these hats at our little Toth party. So guys, put on your Laszlo Toth Yay. hats. Yay! It's gonna be so exciting. Oh, okay, here we go. They, here they fit we are. Perfectly. They, I was, I designed it specifically to fit on your. Oh crap! It's like old time. You're supposed to stand there completely still and just look fancy. Oh boy, oh boy. We are having such a good time now at the party. This is so, a blast. So exciting. So. What do you do on Laszlo Toth Day? You smash tiny statues, of course. So, Nikki, would you would you like to smash a tiny uh, tiny statue? Oh, how I would ever! See, <laughs> see. Okay, so we got our hammer here. All right, here you go, Nikki. Now, what you do is what you do is, and this is the tradition that I started. In addition to having started this holiday, you have to say Bielden Storm before you smash the statue. So you you take the hammer, you put it up in the air, and you go. Build and storm, and then you smash the hell out of that thing. You ready? Build and storm. Build and storm. Yes. yes. Build and storm. Yes. Build and storm. Yes. Okay. You ready? You ready? Okay, ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Go, Nikki. Go, go, Nikki. Go, Nikki. And build and storm. candles but it's involves smashing a statue I am now I am now going to smash a statue all right are you ready you ready build and storm Woo! Did you want to smash a statue, Deja? Yeah. All right. So you just lift up the I hammer. I all my life to do this. Okay. So you just lift up a hammer <laughs> and you say, Beal and Storm. Beal Let my head build and storm. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today in our incredible celebration of Laszlo Toth Day, the most incredible holiday ever. I'd like to end now our little segment here, our little party, our little Toth party, with a singing of the Laszlo Toth Day song, song, which you all know. Oh, Laszlo Toth Day is a pretty good day, and you smash statues with the hammer, and you smash stuff, and it's pretty good. Really fun to smash things. Field and storm. Field and storm. Field and storm. All right, that was great. <laughs> Sorry, Laszlo. While I don't necessarily condone the destruction of any sort of art for any reason, statue or otherwise, um, at the same time, meh. I can both love Laszlo Toth and what he did, and also not even like Laszlo Toth and what he did. Life is a paradox and a contradiction wrapped in a burrito. There's no burrito, is there? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed celebrating Laszlo Toth Day with me. I think it's a fantastic holiday and you're welcome for inventing it. Um, so yeah, subscribe and find me on the internets. I am all over the damn internets. I'm on the Facebook, the Instagram, the Twitter, the Tumblr. I'm on all the frickin' internets all over the place. So yeah, see you next time. Bye!